for tuning into my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a movie review on Crawl. I actually saw this movie last week, but I'm just getting around to doing the review, so I hope you enjoy. So basically, the movie starts off with a woman named Haley doing swimming lessons. And, you know, I think it was a university. You can tell she's very competitive. And as she's finishing her lessons, she realizes from her sister that it's going to be a big storm slash hurricane coming to the town. So she rushes to her father's house to find him and try to see if he's okay. But she realizes that he's not in his house. He's actually in his old house he used to live with with the family when they, when the wife was still around. So basically, when she gets there, the dog, the family dog, lets her realize that the father's actually trapped in the basement crawl space where she comes to find out he's being hunted by alligators. And she finds that he's already been badly injured. So basically, the whole movie revolves around Haley and her father rebuilding their relationship that's been strained over the last few years and escaping the alligators that somehow is connected to some type of pipe system that was in a crawl space. And that's one of the things that really confused me, but I'll get into that later. So basically, I would recommend this movie because I'm not going to lie. When I first seen the trailer, when I used to watch movies, you know, two, three months ago and I seen the trailer, it was one of those movies where I was like, ah, I'm not sure about it. And, you know, my friends and my family was like, oh, that movie looks so stupid. And when I went on YouTube to look at the comments, I was like, I seen other people saying, oh, this is movie is trash. It's going to be bad. But I don't know, something about the movie, when the reviews came out, they were actually good. And so saying the blockbuster, the summer, stuff like that. So it actually made me interested in seeing the movie. So I have to say, I really recommend this movie. And I recommend it better when you see it with a crowd. I seen this with a packed house and that's what made the movie even more thrilling than it already was. Because every time the alligators would come out, people would scream and people would like curse and, you know, say little stuff in the, in the, you know, in the background and that made it more exciting. I was with my family and my friends. So it made it more exciting to see this movie because of like, you know, it's, it's so certain movies you have to see with a crowd. If you sit in there silence when there's like alligators chomping and, you know, everywhere, Certain movies like that, it's, the experience is not going to be that great. The movie is great, but the experience of a quiet audience just sitting there in silence, it's not going to be that, you know, it's not going to be that exciting to see. So it was funny when every time the alligators would come out, people would be like, oh, ah. So stuff like that made it even more exciting. Now, getting into the bad part of the movie, the things where I'm like, you know, it's questionable. You already know that the movie is made up, but it's like stuff that made it questionable was when it was like, during the movie, she got grabbed by the alligator at least three different times, three different alligators. And they were like thrashing her, thrashing her everywhere. But for some, somehow she was still able to like run and like fight and like swim and everything. And it's like, didn't the alligator just thrash her all over the place and twist her arm and she caught her leg and everything, and she was still able to run. And that's one of the things that, you know, it didn't seem that realistic to me. And it took away, we, you know this is like a CGI alligator stuff, but it took away the realism. Because in real life, you get caught by an alligator, you're not going to be able to run and walk and, you know, still swim perfectly fine. But other than that, another thing is the ending of the movie was kind of cliché. And I get it, it's supposed to be a summer blockbuster, but I would appreciate it if they would have had like some type of twist ending or, you know, the ending when it, I don't want to give away the movie. I don't want to give away no spoilers for anybody who didn't see it. But it's kind of like, oh, I seen that coming. Or it's kind of like when the movie ended, everybody was like, that's it? Okay. Then the credits start rolling. It's like, all right, that was good. Like the movie was great, but when, you, when it ends and it just like blinks to the credits, it's like, really? But, you know, what can you say? But every, uh, other than that, the movie was great. It's, and I would give it an 8 out of 10. Only reason why I took away the two points is because of the how she was like getting thrashed by the alligators all throughout the movie. Yet she was still able to just do stuff like normal. And how the ending was a little cliche. But that doesn't take away from the fact that this was a great movie. And I 
really underestimated it when I seen the trailers. So this is why when you see, you know, a lot of times you see movies and you just be like, oh, that movie looks stupid. Those end up being the best movies you see for the, like, the whole summer or the whole year. And another thing is why you like, you know, sometimes the critics like to pan movies, but they end up being better than the movies that got a 98% on, you know, Rotten Tomatoes or something like that. So this is why it's the best, the best thing to do is to just go out, even if you don't want to waste a lot of money on it, see it for a matinee or if you have the AMC rewards program, see it on Tuesday when it's only $6. <clears throat> and this is a movie where I'm telling you, before, before it's too late, try to see this as fast as you can because it's best to see it with a packed crowd. I'm trying to tell you, it's best to see it with a packed crowd. But other than that, Matt, thanks for tuning in to my movie review on Crawl. I hope you enjoyed the movie like I did. If you go see it, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And, you know, leave me any more comments for like, more movie reviews you want to see or other video ideas you have. Thank you.